So now we're going to get onto the topic of conservative and non-conservative forces in terms of energy. So a conservative force is a force that remains fixed along any path between two measured points. A non-conservative force, as per the name, does the opposite. So for example, friction and air resistance, uh, these forces are dependent on the path between two measured points. So if we select two points and two different paths, so we take this path and say we take a slightly wider turn. The friction, the magnitude of the frictional force will be different. So this one will be A and this frictional force will be B. So A is never equal to B if it's two separate paths and along one um, consistent material. Obviously, if there's a separate material from this line onward that allows um, the second frictional force to be less, then the work done by the frictional forces will obviously di be different. However, on one simple uh, uniform platform, say, uh, with a constant coefficient of friction of mu, then the frictional forces will always be different if it's taken along two separate paths. Uh, these are never usually considered uh, when doing conservation of energy equations, uh, we will get on to uh, actually using F equal to MA for most of those, and then furthering, if you go further in the algebraic step, you can say M dV dt, or MV dV dS, or M d2s by dt squared. But for now, we're just going to be focusing on the algebraic side of it instead of going into uh, differential equations.